ceremony with the light these lamps become the source of light for our lives and a very nice inspiration to start this launch of the peace conference i sudhir gandotra i am very happy to be in this role of welcoming you in this moment i welcome the distinguished speakers of the conference mr pv rajagopal a gandhian from ekta parishad mrs tara gandhi bhattacharya chairperson of national gandhi museum granddaughter of mahatma gandhi mr tony robinson a humanist peace and non violence activist mr kumar ketkar distinguished journalist and member of indian parliament dr vinaya arya ratne the president of sarvodaya shramadan movement from sri lanka dr professor mp mathai from gandhi peace foundation dr professor shamsuddin tamboli he is the president of muslim satya shodhak mandal dr chamunda padmakumare from colombo university and mr antonio carvalho a humanist since 1969 and now core part of the world humanist forum asia non violence cannot be ignored anymore non violence represents the voice of the masses across the world non violence now needs to be brought into action in every aspect of life so that peace prevails the recent 378 days farmers non violent protest on delhi's borders have demonstrated that non violence is the best tool for social transformation taking that concept of non violence further silo expanded it with explanation of various forms of violence like physical violence we all know of and economic violence racial violence religious violence psychological and moral violence he further went on to explain what he termed as internal violence that we commit on ourselves like fear hatred resentment frustration injustice false hopes and all forms of negativity that resides within a person let me begin by answering the question that we faced why this conference faced with the situation of war between russia and ukraine we experienced a sense of impotence and despair as to why we cannot stop wars forever and some of us started discussions and to plan a response and we decided to build an, an initiative of people across asia for peace before going further let me make it very clear that we are against the russian aggression and we are for peaceful solution for to all the issues solely through negotiations the unwritten agreement of the highest level between russia and the west that nato will not come to the borders of russia have been neglected every time causing increasing tensions for russia the killing of more than 16000 civilians mostly russians origin in the regions of donbas and luhansk has been an 8 year old issue where the west kept quiet about all the violence for which it has been arming ukraine all through while claiming itself to be neutral russia kept asking for restraint for peace and was met by the arrogant insulting manner of the west led by usa obviously insulting an otherwise equal superpower obviously this upset russia while the west kept on arming this area with heavy arms in poland for instance freeing of the two nation regions of donbas and luhansk by russia and the arms exercises by russian army all around ukraine the obvious violent response and the start of war was only a matter of time while russia is a clear aggressor on ukraine the role of us led western nato alliance is equally responsible for the whole violent situation of war in the region whatever the reasons and the excuses that either side makes we demand that the war stops now and all parties come to negotiations and resolve issues solely through negotiations all armies must go back to their barracks everywhere unconditionally with this background we the humanists decided to initiate this conference and it is a moment of happiness for us to realize that we are being accompanied by you all with this we look forward to building the base of peace across asia all of us together joining millions with us in this people's initiative